Hey everyone, Jason here. So we've got the deck glued down to the hull of the kayak. So now the next step is to fair and sand the deck and prepare it to do the fiberglass. Let's get started. Now you want to take some care while working with your block plane. Be sure you have a sharp blade and set it relatively shallow. All you want to do is aim for taking off any high points and ridges, any glue that's showing. Just focus on the areas that would take more time to sand away. Run your hand along the top of the deck. Often you'll be able to feel the high points better than you'll be able to see them. Try to plane in long, smooth strokes instead of short, choppy ones. This will give you a better finish. Remember, you're working on a deck that's only a quarter inch thick, so you only want to take off the high points. We'll sand it all smooth next. Okay, so I'm just finishing off fairing the hull with the, the block plane. Now, before I start sanding with the orbital sander, there's one more thing I need to do, and that's to trim out the, the deck so that it's even with the hull underneath. You'll remember when we stripped out the deck, we have an overhang of the cedar strips, about a quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch on each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my plane and I'm gonna bring the deck back to meet the, the even sides of the hull and basically just follow the contour of the, the hull itself. All right, later on we'll round out the, you know, it's going to be about a quarter inch radius on the, the deck itself, but for now I'm just going to try to match the, the contour of the hull and bring it up with the deck.
Okay, so I finished off with the block plane and now I'm gonna move on to using my orbital sander. I'm gonna start with 60 grit paper and then move to 100 grit paper. You can start with 80 grit, you can start with 40 grit. The main thing is that we wanna start with a coarser grit to continue fairing the boat and remove any of the gouges or scrapes that we have, you know, just get a nice overall uniform shape to the deck. Then we want to go to a finer grit to remove any of the swirls and the rough sanding marks from the coarser grit. I want to point out one other thing. Now, when we were planing off the edge of the deck, there's a chance that some of you may have taken off some of the fiberglass off the hull. Now, hopefully you haven't taken off too much, but the main thing is don't worry about it, okay? When we lay out the fiberglass on the deck, we're going to have an overhang that's going to come down an inch or two. So, we sh that overhang should cover up anything that you've accidentally taken off. All right, so I'm gonna get started with the sanding. Sanding a wooden boat is everybody's least favorite part, but it's vitally important that we give it the effort that it deserves. Remember that however you leave the deck before you fiberglass it is exactly how it's gonna look forever. You can do all of your sanding with 120 grit paper. Like I said, I found using a coarser grit paper to start off with moves the process a lot quicker. The thing is, if you do use a coarser grit, as I've mentioned, you're going to need to spend time with a finer grit paper to make sure that you remove any of the swirls caused by the coarser grit. If you're not familiar with using an orbital sander, the key point to remember is just to not leave the sander steady in one spot. Instead, move it around the entire surface of the kayak. Start at one end and work from one side to the other. Okay, so I just finished off sanding with the 60 grit paper and I'm gonna start sanding with the 100 grit now. I'm gonna keep using the orbital sander for now. What I've done also is I've just wiped off any dust off the top of the deck so that I had a better look and you know I can identify any spots that I might need to you know give some special attention to. One thing that I wanna point out is when you move up to a higher grit paper, Make sure that you don't hold your orbital sander in one spot. It doesn't happen all the time, but you can bruise or just create weird swirl type marks in the grain of the wood. So just make sure you continue to move the, the orbital sander around and you should get a good finish. When I'm finished with the 100 grit on the orbital, I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna hand sand. All right, so I'm gonna hand sand, I'm gonna continue with 100 grit paper, but what I'm gonna do is just sand in the direction of the grain and just make sure that any of the swirls are just taken out. As you get close to finishing off with the orbital sander, you're going to want to add your radius to the edge of the deck. As I mentioned earlier, the fiberglass is going to wrap over the edge of the kayak, so you're going to need to create a generous round over. About a one quarter radius is about minimum. A larger radius will be easier to glass and less susceptible to dings and damage through the kayak's life.
Hand sanding won't take very long at all. Just remember to sand in the direction of the wood and again, just work from one end of the kayak to the other. Okay, well, that's it for sanding the deck. Now in the next video, we'll get to lay up the fiberglass on the deck and really see what the kayak's gonna look like. Thanks for watching.